بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد among the signs of Qiyama, minor signs إذا رأيتم الناس أمات الصلاة when you will see in my ummah that salat is dead salat is not alive salah is non-existent they will be masajid but there will be no musallis ulama have explained five meanings one is when the ummah will not be reading salat at all number two they will read salat but they will not read salat with jama'ah number three they will read salat with jama'ah but they will not read what the fiqh, the masail, the regulations that it should be read. Number four, they will read what the masail, but they will not read what the khushu and concentration. Number five, they will read what the khushu and concentration, but no yaqeen. The last one is how an ideal salat should be, which will be not part of this category where People will read Salat with Jama'ah in the Masjid with all the requisites and condition and with the correct Yaqeen in the Zat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like how signs have been mentioned where the actions of the Ummah are contrary breaking the Awamir, here it is actions which the Ummah should be doing but they will not be involved in the amal that they should be engaged in. So this is very important. And that's the usul of deen. Ja'al haqqu zahaq al-batil. Mufassirin say, Ja'al haqqu when haqq welcome, ay al-Qur'an. When you bring light, zahaq al-batil, automatically the darkness will disappear and will be wiped out. Malana Yusuf used to say, if you do what you're supposed to do, you will not do what you are not supposed to do. So we find that all darkness and zulma will creep in when the ummah is not engaged and grossed in the amal that they should be involved in. Likewise, we need to be not just doing on the basic, not sufficing and not being contented with the bare minimum, but we should be excelling in these amal. Likewise, Maulana Yusuf used to say, Ke tum wo karo jo log nahi kar rahe ho, Allah tumhare saath wo karega jo logo ke saath nahi kar You do that which people are not doing, meaning excel so much, that you will shine above everybody else. When you do what everybody else is not doing, Allah will do for you what He doesn't do for everybody else. That son, that child that surpasses excels, that employee that does his work but excels, then the boss, the parent, does more for him than he does for everybody else. He'll get a promotion, he'll get a raise, He'll get all the benefits. Why? Because he's excelled above everybody else. Likewise, Salah will be dead in the Ummah, but we need to excel. So five stages have been mentioned. And we need to bring the Noor into our lives to wipe out the darkness. And we see the Masajid are the places like how we have the Baytul Ma'mur which is in the seventh heaven, that is directly below the Arsh of Allah. The Noor of the Arsh goes onto the Baytul Ma'mur. Below the Baytul Ma'mur, which 70,000 Farishas make Tawaf every day and they will never ever get an opportunity to make Tawaf again ever. Below that is the Baytullah, the Kaaba on earth. All Anwarat from the Kaaba goes to the Masajid. When somebody goes to the masjid now to read his salat, they take in the anwarat and they take in the nur to their houses. As mentioned previously, Batil will not want the masajid to be alive. To combat that we need to make sure we establish the salat 
and we engage in those amal that will draw the light and the nur from the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So not reading salat is very serious. أَوَّلُ مَا يُحَاسَبُ بِهِ الْعَبْدِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنْ عَمَلِهِ الصَّلَاةِ The first thing that a person will be questioned on a day of Qiyamah will be about his Salah. فَإِنْ صَلُهَتْ فَقَدْ أَفْلَهَا وَأَنْجَهَا If we got it right, that's like literally the first and last question. Only one question. If you got your Salat right, فَقَدْ أَفْلَهَا وَأَنْجَهَا فَإِنْ نَقَصَتْ And if there's a problem, if there's a deficiency, if there's a shortfall, فَقَدْ خَابَ وَخَسِرَ Then that person is in destruction. He is at loss. He will have serious issues. So, on the day of Qiyamah, which is the beginning of reckoning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will question that first. And likewise in dunya, will I explain? And in the hadith, بَيْنَ الرَّجُلِ وَبَيْنَ الْكُفْرِ وَالشِّرْكِ تَرْكُ الصَّلَاةِ The differentiating factor between a kafir, a mushrik, and a mu'min is salat. A sign that he's a believer and a disbeliever, the differentiating factor is about salat. Hazrat Ibn Abbas, Ahmed bin Hanbal, Ibn Masood, etc. of the opinion that a person who intentionally misses his salat, they've given a fatwa of kufr. مَنْ جَمْعَ بَيْنَ الصَّلَاتَيْنِ مِنْ غَيْرِ عُذْرٍ Even if a person reads his salat but late and he joins to salat فَقَدْ أَتَى بَابًا مِنْ أَبْوَابِ الْكَبَائِرِ He is as if entered the door of kabair, major sins. مَنْ فَاتَتْهُ الصَّلَاتٌ فَكَأَنَّمَا غُتِرَ أَهْلُهُ وَمَالُهُ A person who misses a salat was was thing on earth is to miss salat a lighter thing than missing salat is a person loses his family and all his wealth a person goes to a supermarket he purchase items that he needs as he's leaving the supermarket and he's paid he gets a call somebody has just came to your business and cleaned out everything. They've cleaned out everything. You left what zero. On that same, while he's just speaking, he gets a message, your house has burnt, your wife, your children all have died. As he's standing there, a robber comes, robs him of his cell phone, robs him of the goods that he bought and steals his car. That is light compared to a person who has missed his salah. Ibn Abbas radiallahu an was asked that a person who fasts during the day and stays awake at night but does not perform the salat in the masjid qala hadha finnar this person is a jahannami. So salat cannot be overemphasized a person who's reading Salah, it is a sign that he wants hidayat, he wants to be rightly guided. وَالَّذِينَ يُمَسِّكُونَ بِالْكِتَابِ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةِ إِنَّا لَا نُضِيءُ أَجْرَ الْمُسْلِحِينَ He's among the Muslihin. It's a sign that he wants Allah. Salat is a means of getting close to Allah. And to be in the category of the khashin, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ To be categorized about of those who are among the khashin, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرًا إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ That a believer even at a time of need, he will turn to his Allah. وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةِ وَأَتَوُوا الزَّكَاةِ وَأَرْكَعُوا مَأَ الرَّاكِعِينَ That the people who want to find Allah 
Ain ruku, ain sajda. Salah is so important. Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. When saying the sacrifices is done, he said, Inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati. He started with salat. Ya Allah, all my ibadat, particularly salat, because he was so engrossed in salat, he loved salat so much that he put that. When you have a gift for somebody senior, you give them the best gift you can give them. You give them your best shot. Oh Allah, my salat, then my loving and dying Lillahi Rabbil Alameen. Even when he made dua, Rabbi Jal, Oh Allah, Rabbi Jal, ni muqeem as salat. Oh Allah, give me tawfiq to establish the salat. Wa min dhurriyati. Even for dua for his children, he stipulated about salam. Kana ashabu Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la yarawna shay'an min al-amali tarkuhu kufr ghayra salat. A ta'bi as a shaqiq bin Abdullah says, among sahaba it was as if it was known there's no thing more worse, more dangerous, more close to kufr than a person who leaves salah. The power of salat is Utlu ma uhiya ilayka min al kitab wa akim is salah. It will stop a person from sun in masya. Inna salata tenha. It prevents a person from guna in sun. And the salah is so important that Nabi alayhi salatu was salam before departing from this world emphasized salah. He said, As salah, as salah. وَمَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ O my Ummah, do not compromise on your Salah. His last dying words were emphasizing thus. Salah, if a person is engaged in sun, وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةِ تَرَفَهِ النَّهَارِ وَزُلَفًا مِنَ اللَّيْلِ إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيَّاتِ The Salah wipes out sins. It brings us nur, as said early in our lives, بَشِّرِ الْمَشَّائِينَ فِي الظُّلَمِ إِلَى الْمَسَاجِدِ بِالنُورِ التَّامِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ They will have perfect light on the day of Qiyamah. وَالصَّلَاةُ نُورِ Salah is a light. Those people who leave Salah, it's a sign that they follow their desires and ambitions. Means the result of leaving Salah is a person will become uh, subjugated by his nafs and his desires. فَخَلَفَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ أَضَاءُ الصَّلَاةِ وَاتَّبَعُ الشَّهْوَاتِ That when they left Salat, then they were following their, their khayish. Even in the battlefield, فَلْيُصَلُّوا مَعَكَ وَلْيَأْخُذُوا حِذْرَهُمْ that even in the battlefield, we are not allowed to leave Salat. A person who leaves his Salat, he loses the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inni iftaraddu ala ummatika khamsu salawat wa'ahidtu indi ahdan annahu man jaa yuhafidhu alayhinna liwaktihinna adkhaltuhu aljannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken a promise that if you fulfill your salat, I will protect you. And if you don't fulfill your salat, then you will lose my protection. You will lose Jannah. Ra'sul Amr al-Islam wa umuduhu as-salah. The most important pillar of Islam al-Ahd al-Ladhi baynana wa baynahum as-salah is salah. أثقل الصلاة على المنافقين and the most difficult صلاة on the hypocrite is صلاة العشاء وصلاة الفجر is إشاء صلاة and فجر صلاة ولو يعلمون ما فيهما لا توهما ولو حبوا if they knew the value of these salats if they had to crawl if they were half dying they would make sure they would crawl to the masajid Nabi alayhi salam told Sahaba once, Man hafadha alayha kanat lahu noor 
wa burhanan wa najatan yawm al qiyama it's a nur it's a proof it's a means of salvation and whoever doesn't do this then he will be resurrected on the day of qiyama wa firaun haman qarun and ubay ibn khalaf uh, ibn hajar rahimallah is mentioned why these people specifically because these are the things that's going to stop you from salah from allah and he will be resurrected with Fir'aun because Fir'aun wanted power so that power in the dunya will stop you from Salah Qarun his wealth stopped him Haman his position stopped him Ubay ibn Khalaf his trade and business stopped him these are the things that will stop a person from Allah Imam Anifah is of the opinion that a person who does not read Salah Dhuriba hatta yatub Oh, your mood, he should be beaten until he makes toba or he dies until he dies. The other three Aima, Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal, Imam Shafi, and Imam Malik of the opinion that this person should be killed. Whoever does not read their salat should be killed. Malana Yusuf Nali used to say. That uh, when a person came to him, he said, Hazrat Salat say, Kya What does Salat do? He said, Am wahi, wahi baat am kehte. This is what we are saying. Tumare Salat say, Kya What's going to happen to your Salat? We're not telling people to read Salat like you reading Salat. No. We are telling people to read Salat like the Salat of Janab Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a convention. An Imam gave a lecture about Salat and the importance of Salat and importance of Deen and the importance of Akhirat and the importance of following the Awamir Allah. So one person stood up and he said in this country this is happening and in this country this is happening and in this country this is happening. If you say that the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the Muslims then why don't we see the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya. Why are we seeing all these conditions and all this uh, difficulties? So he said, can I ask you a question? When you have an appointment with a doctor, what do you do? Are you there on time or are you there before time? He said, I'm there before time. He said, likewise, if you are there before time, when you have an appointment with a person of dunya, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala five times a day is calling out to the ummah and five times a day the ummah is not there. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking us, O oh, ummah, where are you? O oh, ummah, where are you? You are asking where is Allah? Allah is asking us, where are you? So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the reality of understanding the haqiqat and the importance of salah. If a person is not performing salah, he is a minor sign of qiyamah. The amal as highlighted before was reading Surah Baqarah. If we can read it weekly, good. We can read it daily, even better in our houses. Al-Baqarah to Sanam quran It is the peak. It's the cherry of the Qur'an. نَزَلَ مَعَ كُلِّ آيَةٍ مِنْهَا ثَمَانُونَ مَلَكًا Eighty angels were descended with every ayah and Allah la ilaha illa ayatul kursi was taken out min tahtil arsh under the arsh فَوُسِّلَتْ بِهَا and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala joined thus ayatul kursi with surah baqarah 25 times in the day we should make istighfar for the ummah Allahumma fill il mu'mineen wal mu'minat Allahumma fill li jameel mu'mineen wal mu'minat A person will get a lot of reward as much as the amount of believers that are there wa yurzaku bihim ahlul ard there'll be baraka in risk yustajabu lahum it'll be accepted May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen